Hello guys, Mars Framens here. Today during the stream, I saw a few questions that were asked pretty often. So I decided to make Unreal Engine 5 series where I'm going to make few short videos uh, where I showcase the answers of some of the questions that people asked in the chat for all of you who didn't watch the stream. So in this video, I'm going to showcase you how to migrate your existing Unreal Engine 4 project to the Unreal Engine 5. Migration to Unreal Engine 5 is actually pretty simple and there is not many problems that i have seen so far only problems you can have is when it comes to the asset if you need to convert them from lots to nanites uh, a bit some lighting issues and if you have used previously chaos engine then you can have some kind of issues if you convert your project so first thing thing we can do is we can open up unreal engine 5 so now you just pick up the project you want to convert. We're going to convert my, I'm going to convert my MetaSurf project. And you just press open. The new window is going to pop up and it's just going to make a copy of your existing project. So good thing is your existing Unreal Engine 4.26 project will be intact. Other questions I got, what kind of projects you can convert. So according to the information what they gave, into the stream you can convert any project that is 4.26 uh, i don't know how it is about the projects that are below i would suggest you just convert them first to 0.426 clear any errors below print stuff and then only from 4.26 convert to uh, Unreal Engine 5 because what I have noticed a lot of stuff in the back end they have they are similar so that's why the conversion works so well uh, later on when they're going to release Unreal Engine 4.27 uh, you're not going to be able to convert from 4.27 to Unreal Engine 5 until release so that's something you need to keep in mind so if you want to use any of your existing projects in Unreal Engine 5 then you need to stick with 4.26 so let's press open a copy. Uh, one of the coolest things that I have noticed is now they, during the project loading, they showcase what exactly they are loading in. So in case if project migration takes a lot of time, you don't need to be afraid anymore that your project gets stuck at 45, 17, 75% which that usually happens. Now at least you see that it's just compiling the shaders. Because usually that was one of the things that I saw a lot in the forums. People are just thinking that their Unreal Engine gets crashed because they don't know why the percentage isn't moving. So as you can see, uh, I successfully migrated my project. Uh, let's open it up. And here's my project. Uh, as you can see, I'm getting some weird glitch. So one of the things, as I mentioned before, Unreal Engine said there can have issues when it comes to the lighting, if you convert. We're going to get more in the Lumen, I can more talk about the Lumen global illumination in the next video. If any of your projects you migrate and you see some kind of weird glitches, then first thing, first thing I would take a look is your post-process volume. In my case, I already did migration before, so I kind of troubleshoot why I'm getting this kind of weird glitch. And in my case, the issue was, uh, where is it? It's a bloom effect. If you take a look here, you see that glitch. There is some kind of, like, if I take, turn off the bloom, no more glitch. Everything works perfect. Meta is here. It still use uh, ray tracing for the sun and reflections so in the next video we're going to take a look more at the lumen and i can explain you about it we'll show you how you can turn it on in your existing project one of the things that i was really happy is your existing plugins at least in my case i tested out some of my plugins from 4.26 without any problem to work in unreal engine 5 which is great is usually even jumping one version up, for example, from 4.25 to 4.26, you always need to go and compile and update the plugin. In this case, I didn't need to update anything. Yeah, guys, let me know in the comments if you faced any issues while you're migrating your project, any plugin issues, so I can just, I'm up to date if, you know, with any problems. Thank you guys, okay? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and see you in the next video. Bye.